Let's skip over to the East Coast now, where Prince Charles and Camilla will be making a special effort to honor Canada's military during their visit. One of the regiments getting special recognition is the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada. It is one of Canada's longest-serving infantry regiments, and it boasts a unique role in the Canadian Forces. So as they wrap up their tour, or as they start their tour, Snail Kulkarni fills us in on this very significant regiment. Stand up! Captain Scott Moody is leading a parachute refresher course. These young reservists are practicing the skills needed to jump out of a Hercules aircraft. Captain Moody has been a member of the Queen's Own Rifles for 20 years, but like many in this regiment, this isn't his only job. By day, he's a school vice principal. You know, I have soldiers that are police officers, firefighters, teachers, you know, business leaders. With over 300 members, this is one of Canada's strongest reserve regiments. The Queen's Own Rifles has been active since 1860, making it the longest continually serving infantry regiment in the Canadian Forces. It's also the only Canadian Reserve Regiment with a parachuting role. This is a unit that um, strives to do extreme things, so parachuting. We also have a big uh, advanced mountain op contingent. We have members that have been part of the Skyhawks, which is the uh, free fall team. This is also a regiment steeped in history. First and Second World War, uh, the Queen's Own fought in many of the very significant battles. Probably the most significant to soldiers nowadays remembering is that they were part of the D-Day landings. Members of the QOR were in the leading wave of Allied soldiers who stormed the beaches of Normandy. Since then, members of the Toronto-based regiment have served in Korea, Cyprus, Cambodia, and most recently, Afghanistan. We, we've had over 75 soldiers serve in Afghanistan, and in that we've had uh, two soldiers that were wounded and one soldier win the Medal of Bravery. A former police officer and now college professor, Lieutenant Colonel Peter St. Denis helped lead nearly 100 soldiers in Kandahar in 2007. He says public awareness and attitudes about reservists have changed. When I was coming home, going through the airport and people are applauding and stuff like that, it becomes emotional and you, and you realize, yeah, that, that's exactly why I did it, you know there to help people. On Tuesday, the QOR will be in an even bigger spotlight as it prepares to welcome its new ceremonial Colonel-in-Chief, the Duchess of Cornwall. The monarchy is a very important part of who we are, but this is the first time that she'll be able to come and actually see us and what a proud tradition she has joined. And for these soldiers, it will be a welcome chance to show off a proud Canadian tradition with roots as deep as Confederation. Sneha Kolkarni, Sun News Network.